Hey guys, what is going on? My name is NoJ456, and today I have the No One Escapes Alive Achievement Guide, aka Building the Plane, and then Escaping to the Pack-a-Punch area. So basically, I'm just going to be showing you all the different parts, where to build the plane, and how to open up the uh, roof, because uh, some people are actually having trouble with that. But here we go. Uh, starting off here with the first part, uh, you're going to go to this top area, up above the uh, spawn room, and still in the cell block, and then you're going to follow the path that I take. That's where the dog spawns. This is where the electric chair is. You're going to follow this path, and you're going to go into the infirmary, and this is going to be your first part. Now you do need the warden's key to uh, unlock a lot of the stuff. So if you do not have the warden's key, a uh, link will be in the description down below, or you can just find it on my channel. And uh, while you're there, you can subscribe, check out all of my other Mob of the Dead videos, and all that good stuff. So here's the first part. I don't actually pick them up in a lot of these clips because I was playing solo. And uh, yeah, so that's the first part. And uh, moving on to the next one here. This is in the outside gondola area. All you need to do is just open this gate. All you have to do is press X to open the gate. And then uh, I just got down by the zombie. Or you can use that little afterlife thing. And then once you're inside here, all you need to do is just go over to your body over here uh, make sure the zombies can't get you and uh, just shock this little thing and it'll actually open up this second gate area here and then uh, again make sure the zombie doesn't get you and then move behind here and then here are the tanks gauges whatever you want to call them uh, I'm sure they have a real name but uh, moving on to the next one we have the one in the spiral staircase area and it is trapped right there and there seems to be no way to get it out but <laughs> no worries uh, it's definitely attainable and it doesn't take too long and in case you haven't noticed you do need purgatory points for a lot of these whatever you want to call them but uh, all you need to do is unlock this you need to have the warden's key unlock that and make sure you do that before you go into purgatory mode or else it's going to waste your point and you're going to have to go a whole nother round but uh, make your way all the way back up to the top and there will be a little shocker thing here if you don't want to lose your perks and uh, shock yourself and then on your way back down around the spiral staircase you'll see it here in a second uh, as you can see you can go pretty fast just because uh, it's really easy to see uh, as you can see there's five six eight for me so you go over here and then basically every single time you tap the R button it'll uh, add one to that to that little counter there so as you can see I put five six eight and at this part you do kind of need to hurry it'll start blinking it'll activate and then uh, in the middle of the tower as you can see if I look to the right here the uh, the rope whatever you want to call that thing has now fallen down and before the timer runs out it, you can hear a little clicking noise you can see the numbers counting down but if you make your way all the way down to the bottom there will be a little gate here as you see in a second and <laughs> the reason I'm not speeding this up is because I want you guys to uh, see the full thing and make sure you don't take any wrong turns because this this map does get pretty confusing, but as you can see, taking that turn, uh, going over, opening up the gate will stop the timer, and then you can walk in and grab the rope. So uh, that's that. That's it for that part. Now moving on to the next one. This one is in the washing machine, and it can possibly be the most difficult one. As you can see, uh, this is where it is. You do need to go into purgatory mode to activate this little switch here, and you do need the gate key again to unlock that gate. But as soon as you do put of those things, you charge it up, the washing machine will allow you to start it up. And uh, this is where it kind of gets difficult. They pop like smoke screens around here and then it will spawn Brutuses, it will spawn extra zombies just depending on what round it is and uh, as you can see uh, it does he does go down pretty easily in solo but if you're on if you're using four people this can get pretty difficult and uh, one thing you should know is that there's a uh, kind of fire that goes up around this so no one can get in or out and it does kill uh, people I think uh, is what I'm, I'm hearing about that but I've never tried to go through the fire but it does kind of create a barrier so you are stuck in this area until either the uh, washing machine is done or you kill everything in there so as you can see, you grab the shirt, and there you have four out of the five parts. So we're moving on to the last part. And here we go. The last part is in the warden's office, and this is a two-part thing because you have to get into the warden's office, and then you have to deactivate the electric barrier. So as you see here, this is how you get into the warden's office. I'm uh, lowering down the key first here, and then I'm going around. This is how you uh, kind of open up the warden's office. Shock that. It will open up the door, and then go back down and revive yourself. And then once you get into the warden's office, you will notice that there is kind of an electric barrier around the door that uh, requires a key to get in. So the way you disable this electric barrier is pretty simple, uh, as you'll see here in a second. There's the part right there so as soon as you disable it you can just run in there and grab it but as you see here all you need to do is go into this bottom room down here where the uh, last part to the zombie shield is and uh, you'll notice you'll notice it by all the different control panels in here but all you need to do is just shock the control panels they're pretty easy to find because there's little blue strips leading to and from the control panels there is one inside of a wall and uh, as you see once you shock the third one the generator will explode and then you can go ahead and go back upstairs and grab that last part so it is pretty simple and uh, yeah now we're moving on to the plane assembly 
assembly and finally getting the achievement so here we go guys to access the roof it is pretty simple all you need to do is just go into the infirmary and uh, you can just follow the signs to get there it's pretty simple and it's pretty close to the spawn room but what you need to do is just go to this door right here that he is shooting at and uh, you need to down yourself and go through that door and eventually you'll get up to the roof and activate something so if you just follow the path that I take right here I, there is a, actually a machine in the next room over the room that I am in right now that I spawned into with purgatory that will let you do that without uh, grenading, grenading yourself so you, if you have perks you don't want to lose but basically just keep hammering on the A button here and you should be able to get up here no problem. I didn't realize you could climb up in purgatory mode but as you can see there you climb up and then you just go toward the door over here and shock the door open and uh, that is how you access the roof. So it is pretty easy go back and revive your body and uh, as you can see here we are making our way up to the roof. It is pretty simple. Uh, after you've assembled all of the parts you will have to go back. Someone will have to go back and grab a second part because as you can see there are five parts and only four people can hold one part at a time. So uh, after you do this as you can see here we're boarding the plane uh, pretty much you just have to try to all get on at the same time and uh, not leave anyone behind but just get on the plane and uh, eventually you'll crash into the bridge and get your achievement so that's about it for this uh <coughs> So that's about it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. My name is NoJ456. Uh, be sure to subscribe if, you, if you're not already to just never miss a video from me. And uh, check out some of these other videos here. And leave a like on this if it did help because I spent a lot of time on it. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed. My name is NoJ456, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you later.